Hi everybody, my name is Paige. Welcome to my channel, Paperbacks and Lattes. And today I want to tell you the books that are releasing in February. So I have this idea of doing a video at the beginning of every month, letting, letting you guys know about some romance books releasing for every month. So I didn't do it for January because, you know, I just came up with the idea, but I thought this would be a really cool way of letting you guys know of books that are releasing each month. So let's go ahead and get started. These will be all books. Um, these are all romance books that are releasing in February. So uh, let me know if I have missed any, like if I've missed any, put them in the comments below and um, let me know which ones that you're planning on reading for February. So let's go ahead and get started. So on February 1st, I, and I'm doing it in order from the, the first day to the last month. So on, the, on February 1st, Don't Kiss the Bride by Carrie and Cole is releasing. This is an age gap in marriage of convenience. The heroine is 18 years old and she is still in school, but she be, she befriends the hero who is 16 years older than her. He needs a favor of, you know, he's in need of a fake marriage type, type of situation, but he does establish the rule of, you know, there's no kissing, no, you know, nothing involved in that sort of way. It's only, um, you know, it's completely a fake marriage. But um, they end up breaking the rule and that fate seals them forever. So, you know, of course, as they're fake married, fake this fake marriage of convenience, um, they discover that there is more to it than they just, their feelings grow and develop and it sounds really good. Then on February 2nd, Love is a Revolution by Renee Watson is releasing. This is a YA romance and also a plus size. So the heroine meets the hero at open mic night um, while celebrating her cousin's birthday. And he's the MC um, for the club and he's, he's perfect except they have different hobbies. The hero is an activist and spends the summer planning events for the community while the heroine just, you know, wants to stay home and watch Netflix. And so, so she kind of fibs and tells him, you know, a little lie to make her seem, you know, that they have the same interest. But as she falls in love with him, the lies are harder to keep up with. This, the next book that is releasing on February 2nd is Much Ado About You by Samantha Young. The heroine gets passed up for a promotion at work. So she takes a holiday in, um, in a quaint village in a quaint English village and the holiday package comes with a temporary position at a bookstore and the bookstore is much ado about books. She loves working at the bookstore and she is drawn to the hero of the story who comes in every day and he is very much attracted to her and is flirting with her every time he comes in and she is trying to keep him at bay because a holiday romance she thinks you know since she's only there for a short while, will end up breaking her heart, but she can't, but she cannot deny their um, connection and their whirlwind romance could turn into the forever kind of love. Next books that, the next book releasing on February 2nd is M Makeup Breakup by Lily Manon. This is a romance between two rival app, app developers the heroine owns her app called Makeup for Failing Relationships, and the hero owns his app called Breakup, and it's called an Uber for Breakups. The hero is moving into her office building right in the office beside her. He'll be competing at the prestigious Epic Investment Pitch Contest, a contest the her heroine needs to win if she wants to keep her app Makeup afloat. As if it's not bad enough seeing his irritatingly perfect face on magazine covers when her own business is failing. As if knowing he stole her idea and twisted it into something vile. As the two rival app developers clash again and again and again. And the heroine finds herself drawn into um, the hero's fast paced high velocity utterly shallow world. Only from up close he doesn't seem all that shallow could it be that 
everything she thought about him is completely wrong. Could the creator of Breakup teach her what true love's really about? And the last book releasing on February 2nd is The Seasons of Cal and Reed by S.M. Soto. This is a second chance workplace romance. The heroine is trying to stay afloat after the death of her husband and she needs a job and begins working for her former childhood best friend. She promised herself she'd never speak to the man again after the destruction of their friendship years ago, but she's desperate. The hate and animosity they have for each other is real. The barbs they shoot each other in the office are effective and all too spiteful. While struggling to rebuild everything that has crashed around her, the heroine finds herself falling into old habits with the hero, only this time she hopes her heart will survive the wreckage. And then on February 4th, The Stray Prince by Ella Fields is releasing, and this is the second book in the Royal series. This, this is a fantasy romance series, and of course I'm not going to go into what it's about since it is the second book in the series. So it follows the first book, and I don't want to spoil anything, especially since I haven't read it, and I'm... And in case any of you haven't read it, I don't want to spoil anything, but um, it is releasing soon. Then on February 9th, the Tales of Darkness and Sin anthology is releasing. So this anthology is dark, dark and forbidden um, short stories. These are stories written with HEAs and sneak peeks of upcoming releases. And the authors that wrote this book is Aletha Romig, A. Zavarelli, Ashley Jade, Cora Riley, Gianna Darling, Isabella Starling, Jade West, Kay Webster, Lucia Franco, Lila James, Natasha Knight, Parker S. Huntington, Pepper Winters, Sam Marino, Sierra Simone, Sky Warren, and S.M. Soto. So a lot of good authors in this anthology. Um, I, I'm so looking forward to this one. The next one releasing on February 9th is Nate by Tijan. This is, um, there is not much said about this except that it is Nate Monson's standalone romance. This is a spinoff of the Fallen Crest series. So um, that's all that's said about this book. The blurb hasn't been released yet, but um, I know this is, was, is a very popular series and this is a spinoff from that series. So that is releasing on February 9th. Wild Rain by Beverly Jenkins. This is the second book in the Women Who Dare series. This is releasing on February 9th as well. A reporter has come to Wyoming to do a story on doctors for his black newspaper back east. He thinks Colton Lee will be an interesting subject until he meets Colton's sister, Spring. She runs her own ranch, wears denim pants instead of dresses, and is the most fascinating woman he's ever met. But Spring, who has overcome a scandalous past, isn't looking for, nor does she want, love. As their attraction grows, will their differences come between them or unite them for an everlasting love? The next one releasing on February 9th is Hit Me With Your Best Scott by Suzanne Enoch. This is the third book in the Wild Wicker, Wicked Highlander series. The McTaggart brothers have one task, find English brides or lose their land. Cole McTaggart Viscount is a big brawny Highlander who doesn't like being told what to do, not even by his English mother who is determined to see her eldest son wedded and bedded. However, when he comes to the rescue of an irresistibly beautiful woman, Cole discovers that he may have found his perfect match. The challenge isn't that Persephone Jones is famous, wealthy, independent, and smarter than anyone he knows. The problem is she is not interested in marrying any man especially not a hot-headed Scott, even if he is the only man who seems to understand who she really is, even when she's not sure herself. When Cole learns that Persephone is actually a lady in hiding and someone is willing to kill her for what she stands to inherit, well, Cole has never been one to turn down a fight. When hearts are involved, nothing becomes between a Highlander and his lady. <laughs> is Dancing with Danger by Kerrigan Byrne. This is the third book in the Goods Girl series. Mercy Good is only truly good at one thing, finding mischief wherever she goes, such as getting arrested um, at a murder scene with Raphael, a brutally handsome, ruthless smuggler with a dangerous past and a dubious future. 
The silver tongued devil doesn't deserve a lick of her confidence, but she has evidence that he's not the killer. Raphael has no time for obsession. He's an, he has an empire to run, a murder to avenge, and a plan to save his brother that is likely a suicide mission. But this clever, infuriating blue stocking who insists that she's an amateur sleuth keeps showing up where she doesn't belong. And for some bloody reason, they can't seem to be in the same room without him yanking her into his arms and kissing her until they're both breathless. The next book releasing on February 9th is The, the Rake Hell of Roth by Amalie Howard. This is the second book in the Everly Sisters series. So the owner of the most scandalous club in London, he, the last thing the notorious Marquess of Roth wants is a wife. Keeping up with his false reputation as a rake brings in the clients with the deepest pockets, money he needs to find a noble cause. Even though everything inside tells him not to leave his beautiful, innocent wife behind at his country estate, he must. But three years later, tired of her scoundrel of a husband headlining the gossip rags, Lady Isabel Vance decides enough is enough. She is no longer a fragile kitten. As the Anonymous Arthur of a woman's sexual advice column. She's now a roaring tigress and she can use her claws. Isabel decides to go to him in London, channeling her powers of seduction to make him beg to take her back. But she didn't expect her moderating Marquess to be equally hard to resist. Now the game is on to see who will give in to the other first, with both sides determined like hell to win. The next book releasing on them on February 9th is The Duke Heist. The, this is number one in the Wild Winchester series. Chloe Winchester is completely forgettable, a curse, curse that gives her the ability to blend into any crowd. When the only father she's ever known makes a dying wish for his adoptive family of orphans to recover a missing painting, she's the first one of her siblings turned to stealing it back. No one inspects that in doing so, she'll also adopt a handsome duke. Lawrence Gosling, the Duke of Faircliffe, is tortured by his father's mistakes. To repair his state's ruined re reputation, he must wed a highborn heiress. Yet when he finds himself in a carriage being driven hell for leather down the cobblestone streets of London by a beautiful woman who refuses to heed his commands, he fears his heart is hers. But how can he sacrifice his family's legacy to follow true love? And the last book releasing on February 9th is The Revelation of Light and Dark. This is by Sawyer Bennett. This is the first book in the Chronicles of the Stone Bell series. From a, young, from a young age, my mind has been plagued with things only I could see. Some hauntingly beautiful, others completely terrifying. Never knowing if these visions were real or just hallucinations, I learned how to lock them down and ignore them. I learned to take solace in the relative anomaly of city life and find peace in the rainy days of my city of seattle is known for but just when i think my life is getting on track and my dreams dreams are achievable a moment of weakness causes me to learn a, a hard and fast lesson my entire existence has been a lie now i'm faced with a new reality that's implausible as it is fantastical filled with realms and veils light and dark fey and demons gods and angels things i don't understand but am forced to acknowledge it doesn't help that the man teaching me about my unique gifts is the gorgeously handsome Carrick Byrne, one of Seattle's rich and most powerful men. He intimidates, annoys, and intrigues me all at the same time. I don't trust him, and yet there's no one else to help me. No longer certain who put my faith in what to believe or how I fit into it all, one revelation is clear. The world as I know it will never be the same again. So then we skip to February 16th, and the first book to release on February 16th is Like You Love Me by Adriana Locke. This is the first book in the Honey Creek series. This is childhood friends and marriage of convenience romance. So to save her bed and Tennessee bed and breakfast, Sophie Bates needs a fast crash, fast cash miracle. Holden McKenzie, her childhood best friend, needs to prove a, a prospective employer that he's a committed man. Their fortunes on the line, Holden proposes a solution. He'll take care of Sophie's bills if she agrees to a temporary marriage of convenience. And why not? They're comfortable together, they have fun, and they trust each other. It's as simple as saying, I do. But the offhand cuff wedding has all of Honey Creek talking, and Sophie and Holden realizing that their perfect arrangement is working too well. If they're not careful, this marriage may turn into a love story. And then also on February 16th, A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass 
is releasing. This is the fourth book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So Nesta is the sister of Feyre from the previous books, and she has just always been prickly, proud, swift to anger, and slow to forgive. And ever since being forced into the cauldron and becoming high fey against her will, she struggled to find a place for herself within the strange, deadly world she inhabits. Worse, she can't seem to move past the horrors of the war with Highburn and all she lost in it. The one person who ignites her temper more than any other is Cassian, the battle-scarred warrior whose position in recent and Feyre's night court keeps him constantly in Nesta's orbit. Meanwhile, the treacherous human queens who returned to the continent during their last war have forged a dangerous new alliance, threatening the fragile peace that settled over the realms. Nesta and Cassian's battle monsters from within and without as they search for acceptance and healing in each other's arms. And then on February 17th, Eastern Lights by Brittany C. Cherry is releasing. This is the second book in the Compass series. And this is Connor's story. The blurb hasn't been released yet. And on February 18th, Close Quarters by Candy Steiner is releasing. This is an angsty standalone billionaire romance. The blurb has not been released yet either. And then on February 22nd, The Crush by Penelope Ward is releasing. This is a second chance story of forbidden love. The heroine has always wanted her brother's best friend. He was six years old. He was six years older and always treated her like the sister he never had. Fast forward a decade. We are all out of our 20s now. Jace has moved in with my brother, Nathan, and me to help us make ends meet after our parents died. Living under our roof, Jace was just as bossy and protective as ever, but he certainly didn't look at me like a sister anymore. That was what made things so complicated. I was pretty much hot and bothered 24 seven and he was torn. Eventually our slow burn exploded, but more than the physical attraction, we developed a strong connection. We just couldn't get caught, right? That sounded simple until it wasn't. This is our story of forbidden love, broken trust, and an unexpected second chance. So on February 23rd, Return to Us by Corinne Michaels releases. This is number one in the Willow Creek Valley series. At 18, I walked away from Willow Creek Valley for good. I was young, scared, and stupid, and it cost me the love of my life, Grayson Parkerson. 14 years later, a crash sends me back home to recover. Back to where we met, fell in love, and planned a future. The, the one he's now living as a single dad to his daughter. Working at the park in together gives us a chance to reconnect, and seeing him with his little girl makes me long for the days when he was mine. One look in his gorgeous blue-green eyes, and it's like I've never left. One kiss, and my world is upside down. One night together, and I know without a doubt, in his arms is where I belong. I'm not the girl I was, intimidated by his wealthy family and desperate to escape our small town. I can imagine a new life for us here. But he's learned to guard his heart, and trust won't come easily. How can I convince him to give first love a second chance? Also in February 23rd, Bet the Farm by Stacy Hart is releasing. Olivia Brent has one summer to save the dairy farm she just inherited, but there's one problem in her lack, and it's not her lactose intolerance. Jake Milovic, the brooding farmhand, has inherited exactly 50% of Brent Farm, and he's so convinced the city girl can't work the land, he bets she can't save it in a summer. Determined to prove him wrong, Olivia accepts what might be the dumbest wager of her life. His strategy to win seems simple. Follow her around, shirtlessly distracting her between bouts of relentless taunting. And it's effective. If his dark eyes and rare smiles are enough to sidetrack her, the sweaty rolling of the man beast's body would do the trick. What they don't know, they'll have to weather more than, than each other. Mysterious circumstances throw the farm into disarray. And with the dairy farm in danger, Olivia and Jake have to work together. But when they do, there's more to fear than either of them imagine, because now their hearts are on the line and the farm won't be the only casualty if they fail. The next one releasing on February 23rd is The Things We Leave Unfinished by Rebecca Yaros. 28-year-old Georgia Stanton has to start over after she gave up almost everything in a brutal divorce. Now back home at her late grandmother's estate in Colorado, she finds herself face-to-face -face with Noah Harrison, 
the best-selling author of a million books where the cover is always people nearly kissing. He's just an arrogant in person as he is in his interviews and she'll be damned if the good-looking writer of love stories thinks he's the one to finish her grandmother's final novel, even if the publisher swears he's the perfect fit. As they read her grandmother's manuscript box of letters, they start to realize why Scarlett never finished the book. It's based on her real life romance with a World War II pilot and the ending isn't a happy one. Told in alternating timelines, The Things We Leave Unfinished examines the risks we take for love, the scars too deep to heal, and the endings we can't bring ourselves to see coming. The next one, It's Been a Pleasure by Nani Blake. Of all the women and men Nani Blake has pleased in her life, there's one she's often overlooked, herself. After the end of a decade-long relationship, Nani decides it's time for that change. She's finally going to prioritize her wants and desires and only do things that feel good in the moment. As she embarks on a pleasure-seeking quest that takes her halfway around the world, she discovers that maybe she can have everything and everyone she's ever wanted. And the last one to release on February 23rd is Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. With her newly completed PhD in astronomy in hand, 28-year-old Grace Porter goes on a girl's trip to Vegas to celebrate. She's a straight A, worked through summer certified high achiever. She is not the kind of person who goes to Vegas and gets drunkenly married to a woman whose name she doesn't know until she does exactly that. The, the, this one moment of departure from her stern ex-military father's plans for her life has Grace wondering why she doesn't feel more fulfilled from completing her degree. Staggering under the weight of her father's expectations, a struggling job market, and feelings of burnout, Grace Files flees her home in Portland for a summer in New York with a wife she barely knows. In New York, she's able to ignore all the annoying questions about her future plans and falls hard for her creative and beautiful wife. But when reality comes crashing around, Grace must face what she's been running from all along. The fears that make us human, the family scars that need to be that need to heal, and the longing for connection, especially when navigating the messiness of adulthood. And the last book I have for February is on February 25th, My Saving Grace by Melanie Moreland releases. This is number one book in the ABC Corp series. It's time for the next generation of vested interests to find their happily ever afters. Grace Van Ryan has her life mapped out. Law school, a career with ABC, and a few brighter ahead of her. Until Jackson Richards steps into the picture. He's everything she hasn't planned for. He's older, sexy, and off limits, and her new boss. When the passion between them explodes, will her life blow up along with it? So those are romance books that are releasing in February. Let me know if I have missed any, um, if you are excited to read any of these. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Thank you.